This is the Swift 10 Jackup Drilling Rig. The Swift 10 is a four-legged Jackup Drilling Rig. Together with its launching customer, the Swift 10 was specified and designed with the aim to considerably reduce the cost of drilling, introducing modern but proven technical solutions from all kinds of industries. The substructure of the Swift 10 was based on an existing design that is used in the windmill construction industry. The drilling package is based on a very cleverly designed hydraulic land rig. This hydraulic rig allows for extensive automation, reducing the number of staff on board. Compared to other jackups, the Swift 10 is a relatively light rig. A load of about 250 metric tons below the top drive is adequate for most normal wells and all slimhole wells. It is specifically configured for lighter new subsea completion designs. The Swift 10 has one large diesel hydraulic crane that can reach all areas on the rig and the cantilever. The crane has an electrical hydraulic backup motor. The crane can lift up to 50 metric tons from a boat and loads up to 85 metric tons on board. From the pump room, the drilling fluids are pumped through the well. The mud pumps are located in the pump room below the main deck of the rig. This room also contains equipment to adjust the mud properties to the requirements. The helicopter deck is large enough for safe landing of even the largest helicopters. The new crew has just arrived after three weeks of home leave to start a 14 days period of very interesting work on the sophisticated Swift 10 Jackup rig. The helicopter landing officer and firefighters make sure that the crew leave the helicopter and helideck safely. On arrival, a safety briefing is held in the helicopter lounge. That includes information about the operational status on board. Regular safety meetings are held with all personnel to assure that they are aware of any potential hazards to improve the safety conditions on board. Drilling is a 24-7 operation and therefore the restaurant is always open. The catering and housekeeping colleagues assure that the accommodation is a pleasant and healthy place to live and also a home away from home. The rig is on a standby position to wait for the right weather and sea conditions before it moves to its final location, which is as close as only three meters away from the production platform. When the weather forecasts are okay and the sea is calm enough, the sign is given to move the rig from its standby location to the production platform. Tugboats and anchor handling vessels take up their positions around the jackup. Anchors on the anchor handler vessels are tied to the winches of the jackup and dropped to the seabed at exact positions. Now the jackup uses its winches to ease itself towards its final location near the production platform. The rig movers carefully monitor the exact position of the jackup during the winching process. A large tugboat is tied to the other side of the jackup as an extra safety measure. Once in position, the rig is jacked up to its final height. The rig must be positioned high enough to stay out of reach of 15 meter high waves and also high enough to reach above the drilling deck of the production platform. The usual height is about 22 meters above the sea. Now Swift 10 is only 3 meters away from the production platform. After jacking, the crew prepares the rig for operation. Water pumps and discharge pipes are installed for cooling. Hoses to load fuel, water, mud and cement from supply vessels are fixed to the loading stations. Equipment containers are put in a handy position and room is made to receive special equipment and drill pipes from the supply vessel to start the drilling operations. And the cantilever is skidded out to the exact position above the well deck. The Swift 10 has a unique pipe storage and pipe handling system that uses specifically designed pipe boxes. These boxes can be used for all types of drill pipe, casing materials and production tubing. To avoid manual handling of pipe materials on the rig, all pipes are stacked on yokes in boxes in a pipe yard in Koevoorden in the eastern part of the Netherlands. Here all boxes and yokes of Swift drilling are stored. 
The boxes in which the pipes are transported are specially designed and tested to make sure the pipes cannot slide out of the boxes. Inside the boxes are layers of special yokes on which the pipes are placed. Each pipe is measured and the position of the pipe is recorded together with the position of the yoke and the serial number of the box. For each layer of pipes, two yokes are lifted into the box. The first layer of pipes is lifted onto the yoke. Layers are stacked until the box is full. The box is then hoisted onto a truck and strapped for transport to the Den Helder port where it is loaded onto a supply vessel. The boxes are moved from the supply vessel onto the main deck where the straps are removed. Then the boxes are loaded onto the cantilever deck and the lifting gear is removed. In the meantime, the assistant driller has fed the pipe records into the pipe storage computer, or PLC. Now the automatic system is ready to operate. The system knows exactly how many and which lengths of pipes are to be run and assures that there are enough empty spaces to place the empty yokes. Empty yokes are automatically loaded into position. A full yoke is lifted by the overhead crane and placed in the center of the cantilever. The overhead crane grips into the yokes and can only release the yoke when the yoke has reached the table in the center of the cantilever. The pipe lifter lifts the pipe to a height that allows precise handover to the pipe handler. The pipe is now taken over by the pipe handler. The force of the gripper depends on the weight and size of the pipe and is adequate to firmly hold the pipe in vertical position without damaging the pipe. The pipe is now moved upward and stops at the parking position at the edge of the drill floor. When the drill floor is free, the driller instructs the pipe handler to move the drill pipe to the center of the well. Now the pipe is handed over to the elevator. The pipe handler moves back to the parking position and is ready to pick up the next pipe. At the drill floor, the iron roughneck connects the drill pipes with the required torque. This iron roughneck also includes an automatic mud bucket and can automatically dope drill pipe. Each activity is controlled by the PLCs. Handover protocols are in place to describe the criteria that are to be met before the computer allows the process to continue. The hands-off pipe handling system has proven to be a very safe system. During the last two and a half years, no serious incidents and no finger or hand injuries have occurred. The top drive is connected to the drill pipe. The drill pipe can now be lowered into the well. After a final safety briefing, the crew waits for the sign to board the helicopter for a safe ride back to shore. After two weeks of hard work on the drilling rig, it is time for the crew to leave the rig, go home and unite with their families for a well-deserved rest. This Swift 10 rig and its dedicated crew make it possible to safely produce environmentally friendly natural gas from the North Sea for many years to come 
for the benefit and health of the economies of Western Europe and for the comfort of its people.